Chillin' with Blake, yeah! Hey everyone, thank you so much for chilling with me today. My name is Blake Stafford, if you do not already know, and today I have a very special guest, another guest, but this guest is specific to this week. Now, the week that this video is going up is finals week. If you're watching this outside of finals week, hello, welcome to our video on how to deal with stress and anxiety. Uh, but I have an amazing guest here, and her name is Miss Amy Falvo. She is the- I'm the director of counseling services. Awesome, so we're gonna talk today about how you can deal with stress and anxiety and some super cool tips to, to deal with that. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Awesome. Anxiety is diagnosable and stress isn't. What are some identifiers of stress and what are some identifiers of anxiety that students may kind of think that like, oh, this is what I think this is, but it's really just another thing. Sure. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, stress can be a lot of things. It can be just feelings. It can be, I'm kind of overwhelmed. Um, you know, I've, I've got too much on my plate and I don't really know what to do with it. Um, you know, and, and those are kind of things that like happen, you know, on a daily basis and kind of normal, but there's an ebb and flow to it. Right. So you're not necessarily experiencing it every day, all day. Um, a lot of the times anxiety is a little bit more than that. So it's that I experience it all the time. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes it can come with um, racing thoughts where you feel like you've got this movie going on in your head and the thoughts just keep going and they won't stop. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes it can um, lead to things like panic. Um, and so there's a difference between high anxiety um, and panic as well. So you could just be feeling like a lot of anxiety and then you can also have a panic attack. So there's a difference there too. Um, yeah. But, you know, I think um, sometimes it's just the kind of level, the free frequency um, and the severity with which it kind of comes with. There's obviously a difference between stress and anxiety. So yes. like, what are some tips to deal with stress? With the high levels of stress, some of the best things to do is just take a second to breathe. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, take a second, you know, lower, you know, the amount of uh, things that are kind of on your plate, sit down and just kind of reconnect with your breath. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of the times when people start to get um, stressed or anxious, they start to breathe differently. Yeah. And so, you know, you kind of do that hyperventilation breathe. Where you're sure. like, and these kind of go up um, <laughs> instead of, <laughs> right, exactly. Instead of what you should be doing, which is breathing from your diaphragm. One of the things to do would be to, you know, slow down and take a breath. What are some tips for anxiety, like dealing with anxiety? So anxiety is something that, you know, some people may need to come and see a counselor about um, because uh, sometimes people have had um, anxiety and it can be a genetic thing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if mom and dad have it, uh, there's, a, there's a higher chance that you have it as, um, yeah. you know, their offspring. And so, um, you know, that could be the case. Um, you know, mindfulness, as, even just with stress is good, but mindfulness practices are really good. Um, we have an app called WellTrack that we have through the counseling center. Okay. Um, and you can kind of take a little test about depression and anxiety. Um, and if you score high on some of those, you may, you may kind of be closer to the realm of having anxiety rather yeah. than stress. Uh, and so it teaches you some things about guided meditations mm -hmm. and uh, just some ways to, uh, you know, utilize deep breathing and meditation and mindfulness in like an everyday practice, like being even like doing a mindful walk. And so that's that's one way. Um, the other thing, I mean, in all honesty, with, with some types of anxiety, yeah, you're going to need counseling and possibility of medication. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's hard to kind of feel that way all the time. And right. so, you know, some people do need medication because it's a chemical imbalance in the brain. It's, and it, it depends because sometimes you can start to learn resources and tips and tricks to kind of help you, like put them in your toolbox um, right. to, you know, help you with that anxiety and to lower it. But then if those things stop working or they just never did work, mm -hmm. then it may be a chemical imbalance thing that you need some medication for and some people really start the medication and feel a lot better yeah wow so I've learned so much just like sitting here and talking to you uh, in this very like short amount of time hearing from a professional about these types of things is, is really awesome so um, how can students get connected with the counseling center sure so in order to come and see us you just have to walk in our door we are here to help and so my entire staff um, and I are here to help and so we just want you to come through the door and that's the hardest part but we ask that students come in our door we're at 65 Valencia um, right next to the tennis courts um, uh, in the Tinlin house and what we do is we'll get you in we get a little bit of information from you and then we get you the first available appointment and so we offer individual counseling we offer some groups um, and then we have uh, some workshops as well um, and uh, so you know it kind of depends on what you're needing yeah, and yeah. Um, we get you in kind of as quickly as possible in your workshops you normally have like a workshop at least once at least once a week absolutely in the spring semester we will definitely have more workshops um, normally our workshops are on mindfulness or the anxiety toolbox 
Um, sometimes it's about um, interpersonal relationships, like breakups and shakeups, you know, yeah. when those kind of things happen, yeah. uh, you know, and different things like that. So, um, and if students are interested in something, we love to hear and get feedback. So when we get feedback, we incorporate it and we try to come up with something that's going to best help the students. That's so awesome. Yeah. This counseling center is a free service for five-year college students, which is amazing. So take advantage of it. Because you'll never get free counseling ever again in your life. No, yeah. The second part that's really good is we're confidential. It's kind of nice, you know, if you need to talk about something, yeah. you're not, you know, able to say anything else. And so you've got like a really safe and private place. That's so awesome. Yeah. That's so awesome. Well, yeah. thank you so much for taking this chance Absolutely. to sit down with me and uh, just to uh, drop some knowledge. It was amazing. So. We hope you guys are going to have a great, awesome finals week. If you are struggling with finals or just the stress of finals, feel free to come in to stop by the, the counseling center. Um, they're always looking for people to talk with. So um, that's really awesome. And so thank you so much. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Have a great day. You too. Bye, guys.